Today we will study about flows through the sum merge orifice. We already discussed in the previous video sum merge orifice are of two types. One, partially sum merge orifice. Second, fully sum merge orifice. First of all, we will study about this fully sum merge orifice. Then after chasing the fully sum merge orifice, we will start partially sum merge orifice. Fully submerged orifice is one which has its wall of the outlet side emerge under the liquid so that it discharges jet of liquid into the liquid of the same kind. The liquid on the upstream side is free surface here and down, downstream surface here. And this is the orifice. This orifice is submerged by the liquid. Wall of the boundary of this orifice is bounded by the liquid. So, this is fully submerged orifice. We will do the derivation of discharge through the fully submerged orifice. First of all, we will consider here some variables. Let this is the center of the orifice. Let this is center of the orifice in upstream side point one, and we will let point two on downstream side here. Height of the liquid surface on upstream side from the upper edge of the orifice is that's one. Height of the liquid on upstream side from bottom edge of the orifice is S2. Let S be the difference of the liquid in upstream side and downstream side. We will consider point 1 and 2. Point 1 is in upstream side of the orifice and point 2 is on downstream side orifice. Point 2 is at this vena contractor on downstream side. We write this variable also. Suppose this liquid is water, so we can write here water. Height of the liquid above top of the is of the orifice. Yes, to is height of the water above bottom is of the orifice. Let h is the difference of the height. Difference of water level. We let the width of the orifice as b. This is the side view. When I am looking for in this direction, I can see the orifice is like this. Let this is the with B.
Now we can calculate the height of the water above point 1 and this point 2 up to the free surface. The height of the water above point 1 is this up to free surface is here. So, we can calculate this height. We can calculate this by adding S1 plus this small distance. The distance between the top is of the orifice to the center. This this small height is s2 minus s1 upon 2 s2 minus s1 is the whole depth of the orifice if we divide by 2 we can get the height of to center this is equal to s1 plus s2 upon 2 similarly we can calculate the height of the water surface from this point to we can calculate this height by subtracting this h from this h1 plus h2 by 2 From the center to this height, we have S1 plus S2 upon 2. If we subtract this S, we get S1 plus S2 upon 2 minus S. Now we apply Bornell's equation between point 1 and point 2. This point 1 and 2 are on the same level. So we apply Bornell's equation. Let the pressure head at point 1 is P1 upon rho g plus velocity at point 1 V1 square upon rho g plus Z1 equal to P2 upon rho g plus V2 square upon rho g plus Z2. Point 1 and 2 are on the same level. So this get caught p1 upon rho g is the head of the water above point 1 this is the head of the water we find here h1 in place of this we can write h1 plus h2 upon 2 when water discharges from the, this upstream side to this downstream side the velocity at point 1 at point 1 there is no change in the velocity so we can put b1 is 0 so we get this p2 upon rho g the head of the water from point 2 to the free surface is this s1 plus s2 upon 2 minus h plus this b2 square upon 2 let the velocity at point 2 is b2 square upon rho g this and this are same so we can cut this and we get 0 equal to minus s plus v2 square upon 2g or we can write here s equal to v2 square upon 2g so we get v2 is equal to root under 2g s this is the value of velocity at point 2 we have to find the value of discharge q
value of discharge is area of orifice into this velocity. The area of the orifice is let this rectangular orifice, then we can find this area. Let B is the width of the orifice and we can multiply with this side S2 minus S1. This is the area of the orifice. So we substitute here B into S2 minus S1 into velocity B2 we find here B2 equal to 2 root under 2 gh. This is the theoretical value. We get Q actual is CD into B into S2 minus S1 into root under 2GH. This is the value of actual discharge through this fully submerged orifice. We have to note this value to find the discharge through the partially submerged orifice. Now we go through the partially submerged orifice. Let note here this value Q actual. This Q is equal to C D B S2 minus S1 root under 2GH. We have to use this formula while deriving the relation between the flow through the partial summers or piece. Here I make some changes in this figure. Let the free surface is up to here. And difference of the level of water between these two surfaces. Yes. Partially submerged orifice is the type of orifice in which the orifice is submerged partially that is in one part it is surrounded by air and in upper part we can see here is air so this is partially submerged orifice we have to find the total discharge through this partially submerged orifice total discharge through this partially submerged orifice is equal to discharge through this this free portion plus discharge through this submerged portion. So we write here discharge through total discharge is equal to And we, we can get this is the free portion. We can use this formula fully submerged orifice up to this height. This is equal to let discharge through partially submerged orifice is Q1 and discharge through free portion is Q2. And in place of Q1, we can substitute this value.
and for free portion we can use the formula of discharge through the rectangular orifice we derived in the previous video we can use that formula q equal to 2 by 3 into cd into b into root under 2g into s2 3 by 2 minus s1 3 by 2 this is the discharge through the large rectangular or orifice we substitute this value here So we can arrange this. We can get common C D and B and root under 2G. Then we have root under H, H2 minus H1 plus this side 2 by 3 into this H2 3 by 2 minus H1. 3 by 2. This is the total discharge through the partially submerged orifice. We have to understand that discharge through partially submerged orifice is discharge through the this partially submerged portion plus discharge through the free portion. In place of free portion, we can use discharge through the rectangular orifice, large rectangular orifice, and in case partially submerged orifice, we can use discharge through the fully submerged orifice. By adding that to, we get the result discharge through the partially submerged orifice.